So uh, today we'll be seeing how we can create a headless uh, progressive web app that is built on uh, React.js for your Magento 2 based web uh, store and how you can deliver a mobile app like experience to your customers and uh, basically using the Magento progressive web app studio we would be able to create uh, complex progressive web apps uh, on top of your Magento 2 web store so uh, today we'll be seeing the complete flow of uh, this uh, particular uh, headless uh, progressive web app that has been built using the React.js for your Magento 2 web store. So we'll be uh, seeing the workflow of the same. So right now if you can see that I've installed one app that's the Fashion Hut and it's uh, basically a headless progressive web app uh, uh, for your Magento 2 web store. And this is a demo app that we have created. So we'll just uh, check the workflow of this uh, particular app, how it works basically. So uh, you can download it uh, from the uh, App Store itself and from the uh, Apple Store as well for your iOS devices. I've uh, downloaded this for my Android device. So uh, let me open that up by tapping the uh, uh, Fashion Hat icon on my uh, mobile device. So you can see that uh, we have this uh, particular plus screen and uh, thereafter we just need to provide some uh, 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 access here so as to receive the notification using the same. So I'll tap on the allow button and now you can see uh, the progressive web app demo itself on your uh, Android mobile device right now. So on the left hand side we have the uh, drawer having these three horizontal lines on the top left hand corner. So if I tap on that, uh, that brings up the main menu on this side panel, having the option to sign in and the rest of the categories that are there within your Magento 2 platform based web store. Apart from that, we have the currency uh, under others. We have privacy and cookie policy and uh, we have contact us. Apart from that, we have uh, the preference to choose the website and the language as well. So uh, now let's see the workflow and uh, for that uh, we'll be logging into a customer account or we'll be creating a customer account, we'll be placing it on order and we'll be changing the rest of the aspects of this particular uh, progressive web app for your Magento 2 store that's uh, a headless PWA built uh, using the React.js for your Magento 2 platform based web stores. So uh, first of all, uh, on the top right hand side, you can see a camera icon, there's a cart icon, there's a search uh, icon. So if I tap here on the side panel, and then I'll just tap here on the sign in uh, option. So from here, we can directly sign into our custom account. Otherwise, if I want to create a new one, I can tap here on the create an account. Uh, let me enter the uh, details here, and uh, I'll be entering my name, test in, and last, I'll just set my password here and I'll just tap here on the create an account button thereafter. So uh, you can see that the account has been created and I've logged into my customer account. And now on the side panel, I can see my categories and the rest of the details as well. So uh, at the very bottom, we can see we have an up arrow. If I tap on that, that brings up the uh, uh, complete details of this customer. So you can access that by just tapping here on the side panel and here we have the uh, test. And then uh, under the test customer account, we have the dashboard, wish list, orders, downloadable products, product reviews, address book, account information, and the option to sign out. So if I tap here on the dashboard, the customer would be able to see the recent orders, his uh, addresses, if any, if any reviews he has placed. And uh, from here as well, he can view orders and the reviews as well. You can also edit his info by tapping here on the edit info uh, button that we have so uh, now let's go back and let's see the home page where different options are there so here on the side panel we have logged in we have the categories uh, we have accessories top bottom dresses shop the look so uh, right now here I'm on one of the product pages let's go back so this is the home page and at the top we can see the different categories as well and from here we can directly access the categories apart from that we have the featured product as you can see here they have been listed here we can wish this product by tapping here on the heart icon that we have so right now you can see this stretch bell that is uh, already uh, added to the wish list 
and uh, we can also tap here on the view all featured product uh, featured products so we have a complete list of the featured product apart from that we have the hot deals as you can see and all of the deals are visible here we also have the offers with this uh, particular uh, banners uh, moving around we have the accessories we have the latest deals uh, we have the recently with products and we have this particular back to top uh, uh, button takes it back to the top of uh, the uh, headless uh, progressive web app and uh, from here we can also search for the products for example if I enter necklace uh, you'll be seeing if there are any products uh, that will be displayed and apart from that you can see we have neck and bottoms uh, top dresses accessories apart from that we also can see the product suggestions here uh, that can be used for the word that I've entered here so I can choose neck and accessories and will be displayed with the necklaces uh, maybe all right so that's the correct result there and here you can see that I have two products in my cart right now so it's just refreshing up and from here the customer can tap on the checkout button to make a clean and calm checkout very easily using this progressive web app let's go back apart from that within the cart itself if you tap here you can add any of the products as uh, your favorite you can edit that uh, you can remove that item as well if I tap here in the remove button then uh, uh, the product would get removed as you can see it has been removed to add to favorite I can tap on that particular hot icon and now to check my uh, favorite product I'll just start on the side panel here on the very bottom we have the test at web cool with it up arrow on the right hand side I'll tap it up that brings up the custom account options and from here I can go to my uh, wish list I can tap that up and that will display the complete list of uh, wish list products in my cart I can go to my orders section here you can see I have uh, pending orders we can reorder any of the already uh, placed orders we can review that particular order as well uh, for the products within that order we can check the details if I tap on the details we can check the order details as you can see the items all that I have ordered uh, from here we can also write a review as well uh, very easily and the complete rest of the details along with the payment method that had been used uh, for placing the order itself now uh, if I go to the I uh, if I go to uh, uh, let's go back to the uh, customer account options here so uh, we are done with the dashboard dashboard displays the complete list of recent orders addresses reviews uh, we have the wish list then we have the orders then we have the downloadable product section if you have only done if we have any downloadable products that would be displayed here then we have the product reviews if we have made any reviews for the products uh, we have the address book we can see the already added addresses we're going to also add by tapping there and then setting up our uh, address here and uh, then we can save that particular address as well and uh, then we have the account information here we can edit our first name last name we can also change our email we can change our password as well as per your own own requirement using this particular headless pwa for the magento 2 platform itself let's tap back then we have the sign out button to sign out of our accounts so that was the customer account and this is the side panel right now that we are seeing and uh, here we have a shop to look as well this is one of the categories as well if i tap on that we can see the complete list of the products there if i go to any product page we have the product along with the images of the product uh, and uh, we can add uh, a review here we can add it to our wish list by tapping here on the wish list icon we can um, choose the color the size the quantity of the product we can check the details of the product we can add it to the cart then we can make a check out uh, thereafter very easily as well so you can see that I've added it to the cart and let's tap here on the cart icon now so we can see that uh, the product is added to the cart now now we can tap here on the checkout button to make an easy checkout thereafter let's cancel it down and now if we, if we see we have this camera icon if I tap on that uh, we'll be able to scan the uh, products and add them directly to our cart to make a checkout and that's the progressive web app uh, scan and go feature within our uh, headless PWA for the Magento to platform based web stores and if I tap here on the OK button we'll have to provide the access 
and after giving the permission we'll be able to scan the products uh, from the physical stores uh, we can scan the products directly and can add them to our cart so there's no need for you to stand in the line or in the queue within that particular physical store and you can add your products make a payment and can go out of that particular store very easily now and um, let me take you to the side panel once again and here we have the website preferences we can choose our websites as per one or need how uh, we can change the default language of the store uh, we can change the currency of the store uh, we can also check uh, the privacy and the cookie policy and the contact us option so after uh, tapping that uh, this particular link of the others will be shown the privacy and the cookie policy as you can see right now and if I go back and type here on the contact us then uh, we'll be able to send a uh, mail directly to the store owner and we can interact with him with, by entering our phone number and uh, our message and tapping on the submit button thereafter and uh, so that was much about the uh, headless progressive web app for the Magento 2 platform based web stores and I hope it helped you out please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates uh, within the e-commerce uh, plugin world and uh, if you have any questions queries or suggestions regarding this particular plugin then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you will raise a ticket at webcool.uids.com thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead